Hi everyone, my name is Emre and I am part of the team behind Ant Media Server. Ant Media Server is a highly scalable and ultra low latency streaming engine. Today, I'd like to show you how easy it is to get started with using AWS. So, let's get started. So here we are on the listing page and since I work at Ant Media, I already have access to the product, but you should subscribe to it first. So let's continue to subscribe. And as you can see, it tells me I have access to this, but you'll be subscribing on this screen. And after that, you should continue to configuration. So here we have a few options. We have a delivery method, which we only have one option for. So we just pick 64 bit in the future. Arm support is coming soon. And you have a few choices between the software versions. So I will, of course, be picking the latest one. And I can just leave the re region as is, but you can pick whichever region is closest to you. So let's continue to launch. Here we have a few other options as well. So I will be picking launch from website as my action and you will be picking your instance type depending on your usage needs. For example, I can just leave it as C5X large now as that's the baseline that we recommend. But you can of course choose one that's more suited to your streaming needs. And you can check out our cost calculator to see which kind of instance suits you the best. Also, feel free to contact us and we would love to help you with the correct choice of instances. I'll be picking C5X large as that's the baseline that we recommend. And in my VPC settings, I'll just leave it as default and my subnet settings will be default as well. And let's create a new security group based on seller settings. So let's name it. Oh, I just wrote my name wrong. All right. And let's just put example here as well. So here, as you can see, there are a few ports that have been opened up for you. These are necessary to be able to stream with WebRTC. So let's just save these settings and move on. So I already have a key pair created for use in this example, but you can click this link and click create key pair and enter a key pair name to create it. So this will be my key pair name and I will create the key pair and this will download a file on my computer. That's critical. I should keep an eye out for that. We'll be using that one later. So I come back here and I pick my key pair. And after this, there are no other options left for me. So I just hit launch. Brilliant. Our instance has been deployed on EC2. So let's go look at it. As you can see, we have a new instance running and there is a public IP address for it. So let me just copy this address and go to the 5080 port of it. So here we are on the dashboard of the Ant Media server. Here our username will be James Bond and I will leave it up to you to figure out why that is so. And my password will be the instance ID. So I'll just copy that over and hit let's go. Brilliant. Here we are on the dashboard and we are nearly ready to stream. But first we have to enable SSL and for that we need a domain name. Let's connect to our instance with SSH. So you can use your favorite SSH client, but I'll just be using my terminal and let's type SSH dash I and enter our key pair file so it will probably in my downloads and after that the default user is ubuntu at my ip address let's try it let's type yes and it didn't work because the permissions on our file was wrong. So let me copy this path 
and say ch mod 400 and put the path in. So that should be fine now. And let me put the previous command back in. Wonderful. We are connected to our end media server instance with SSH now. All right, so let's go back to root 53 into our hosted zones. Of course, this will be this might be different depending on your domain management, but it will have a very similar interface to this. So let's create a record and let's name this Emre. And we can put our IP address into the value and let's just create the records. So now this address will be forwarding it to the IP of the instance. So let me copy the address and try to go there. So as you can see, it points to our dashboard again. And I'd like to use WebRTC. So I should probably enable SSL. And to do that, let me go back to my terminal. So as we are connected over SSH, let me just navigate to the correct folder. So let's go to slash user local and and media. And here we will need to run the enable SSL command. So let me say the script actually. And we will add a flag for dash D. And now we have to enter our domain. So what was our domain? This was our domain. So we will copy this over. All right, wonderful. We have successfully installed SSL. So let's go back to our server. All right, we enabled SSL and let's use this URL to go to our dashboard. And here we are. Again, let's use James Bond and our instance ID to get logged in. Brilliant. All right, here we are on the dashboard with SSL enabled, and now we can run a quick test. So here is a tab with the publish page, and here's another tab with the play page. So I'll hit start publish here. And we are publishing now. Let me start playing here. And there we go. That's the beauty of Ant Media Server. So you can get started with streaming in real time in about five minutes. All right, guys, thanks for listening. And I hope you could follow along. And don't forget to check out Ant Media Server on AWS Marketplace. You've just seen how easy it is. And I think it will be the right solution for your video streaming project.